Hello and welcome back to Sakya Treason. So, we are going to go and attack Cam today. However, we were just waiting to see how their war with our vassal was going. So, right now, it's going in favor of Cam. That's kind of where I wanted it to be. Where's their army? Their army is over here. That's pretty much in our territory. What we could do is we can probably go north, take their capital, and then surround their army. That should be their whole army, right? Yeah, all bar about 400, that's their whole army. Uh, that army is of Latok. Latok is within. Okay. So yeah, we could potentially do that. Uh, how many men can we raise in our capital? That's an important thing to look at. Um, okay, so we can raise about an extra 3,000 from our capital. Maybe a little bit more. That's really good, actually. The reason why I'm only looking at our capital there is because what we want to do if we're surrounding the Cam army is raise our army over here and then kind of spin around, which means anything like from this side, useless. Absolutely pointless to raise them. So, I think it's time we declare our war. I think, that's, I think we're good. I think we're in an all right spot. Subjugation. So we have to make sure it's for the kingdom of uh, Cam here. Why do we want the kingdom of uh, Cam? Well, basically, we want it so that... Um, I believe that's his last kingdom left. Yeah. So that is his last kingdom left. What happened last time, it was the last kingdom left, is it gave us all the land underneath it because it gave us the de jure kingdom and it gave us everything that came with that. As in anything that this kingdom had. So that should be everything because there are no other kingdoms. If I understand it correctly, that's how it works. So, let's just try it. Um, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If we lose it, we really don't go down at all from where we were. Although we do have, like, alliances we haven't secured up. And that would be a really good idea to do that before. We have those two who are within our realm, I think. Yeah, they're both within our realm. And we have this guy who we could form an alliance with. Yeah, let's grab that alliance, then declare the war. Let's just make sure we got it. There we go. Now, uh, that will, hopefully, just allow us to take... Yes, we got three coming in. We don't have any war declaration committee, so we can just choose to declare war. Yeah. Right. Uh, we can call in our allies. I am, of course, going to call in all three of our allies. So that's about an extra 13,000 troops. And we already have enough by ourselves to beat them. Right, so I've raised all of our troops. Everything here is good. We'll move them up there. Everything in this bit is bad. Because they can get picked off. Uh, everything over here is too weak. Yeah. Okay. So this is our full army. It's also good because it means our levies aren't completely depleted if we lose all of this ar like if we lose all of our army somehow. We're not going to, but maybe attrition or something is gonna do it. Anyway. That's fine. We lose a little bit of war score because they have some of our land sieged. Um, because we're they're in that war. Did that war get... Yes, yeah, so that war's still going. Um, we're okay with that, though. We're absolutely okay with that. Um, my... Whatever. What What is he? My uh, guy near. I forgot what that is. Uh, oh, my steward. Okay, he's um, brought some peace to a province. Good. Happy to hear it. Um... I really don't want them to take the capital. I'd really prefer us to take the capital, but that's fine. Uh, gregarious or charitable for this random courtier. Um, that one, obviously, but we should have a uh, tutor, right? Yeah, court tutor. Uh, let's put in somebody here. Um, I kind of prefer... For us to have some better stats going on here. Um, lighten something. Let's go for a martial tutor and just make everyone good at martial. But try and keep the stats even. Uh, she seems alright, yeah. Uh, she can definitely have this title. Okay. Right. Make sure we have good leaders. So we'll have him in. He's got Winter Soldier, which is fantastic. So it means that we get the supply limit. We need to have the Siege Leader in. Uh, which we do, and then the next one it has is Zen, who is Mountain Expert. And this guy's Craven, so that's actually fantastic. 
I'm going to relieve him from being a commander as well, because he's craven. He does say we need a new commander, obviously, but that's fine. Uh, and we'll put in this person who's good at leading the center. Yeah, good. Uh, let's head up this way and start sieging this land. Yeah. Right, a daughter was born to us. Another daughter. Okay. Called Jet Sunma. Okay. Are we choo- yeah, we're, we're, we're choosing focuses when they're born. Uh, what are we thinking? I'm thinking maybe just go something like Thrift. See how that goes. Right, uh, do we- is this land- is this land sieged by their rebels, so we're gonna go take it, because it should be quick to, uh, siege again. There we go, especially after we kill the rebels. There we go, wait a couple of days, and we got it. What's interesting is I believe that if this war wins, like if he wins his war, which is currently heavily in favor of the like rule, current ruling party, then that would mean that his new person, like his claimant would take over the land, but the subjugation war shouldn't be cancelled because it's not based upon the per current person that we are declaring on. It's based upon the current land that we want. I think. I think it's declared on a realm, not on, not on the land. That should be alright. Uh, let's assault that down. Uh, this one's got a little bit more defenders. Don't really want to deal with it. Let's just head up north. Uh, I really want those guys to get rid of our other army, so I'm just going to leave it there. there of our vassal's army. Uh, we just lost our spy master. New spy master needs to come in. Um, fantastic. It's, I believe it's... Well, it's not the guy who just inherited, but it's still a powerful vassal. That's good. Um, we'll head up this way. Siege down that land. We can probably assault it as well. We have just about enough men. Um, oh, not after that attrition tick, actually. But we should be able to take that in four ticks anyway, so it's fairly good. Yeah, that attrition tick was pretty vicious. Okay. Where is the army of him? Oh, it was good. He's uh, chased off that army from there. Fantastic. That's exactly what I want to see. Let's go take the rest of their capital. Uh, I've noticed an increase in traders coming from the east ever since I employed Yu Maijing as trade uh, governor. Fantastic. It's still going well. I was trying to see if there was anything on here that kind of set him out as a trade governor, but not really. Apart from his tea, which is interesting. Oh, that's uh, from being a uh, Taoist. So that is... Kathmandu gets another surge of traders. So it already has Silk Road and Trade Governor, but this one gives it another bonus. So another five trade value, more income and more wealth. That is fantastic. In fact, are we still upgrading Kathmandu? No, we should upgrade it 100%, get more trade value. Use it as much as we can while it's available. Okay. Yeah, well, we're going to head down to their capital, grab that stuff, negotiate. Absolutely not. We now have a niece uh, called Yon Dagmo. Uh, our niece can be educated with a... I don't know. Humility background. Let's mix things up a little bit. Right, head over here. Um... So they're gonna be this is gonna be a really quick siege okay so even have, though they have a lot of defenders it is really low fort level uh we can assault this one it only has two fort level yeah it's 51 percent anyway each tick we've taken all of that we want to let this siege finish then attack it uh my mother-in-law died of cancer okay that's um doesn't really bother me at all how quick is this gonna be 10 ticks okay uh, actually, that siege is just about finished, so... Yeah, we're, we're good. We're, we're just going to head up there and get that one. Yeah, attack in. Uh, why did that de-siege? Oh, did the other war end? Their other war ended. Fantastic! So, it ended uh, exactly the way we want. So, now there's no reason to play all of these mind games. Trying to avoid, uh, you know, winning the war as quickly as... Or, Avoid giving them advantages because their war just ended. They probably white peace, I'd imagine. Um, or maybe the claimant died or something. Their war is inconclusive. That's what really matters. We have 15,000 because they've decided to sit on top of me. Uh, let's just tell my uh, friendly people here to uh, sod off. 
allies, uh, go siege somewhere else that isn't me. If I move into my own territory, they should just go away now. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So now they'll go off and siege somewhere and we can just uh, go and siege somewhere else. Oh no, they're actually heading down that way. So we'll, he we'll head up and siege the top half of the map. That's fine. Basically, I just don't want to take, um, you know, a thousand troops a day in attrition or something like that. Right, head up here and we should be able to get these ones fairly easily. Uh, that's going to be four ticks. Not too bad. There we go. Taking their city. Oh, not quite yet. A new bird has arrived in the muse and a new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. Okay. Um, let's go for some poetry. Yeah, I, I think poetry could be fun. Uh, okay, this one... We can assault that. There we go. That's fairly good. The poetry book is really inspiring. I can feel creativity bursting through my body. Fantastic. We have become an aspiring poet. Right. Um, Karchin Detson smiles at you. My liege, I've noticed your mind seems to drift off whenever we discuss monetary issues. I believe that to make things interesting, one must be introduced to the subject where it's directly relevant to oneself. Perhaps you would like to join me tomorrow for a full day's work. You know what? Sure. That would be interesting. Um, so he starts the day collecting taxes. Some people frown and complain when they give away their earnings. Uh, he can't really explain the way taxes are collected. Man, just to appease their complainers. So, we become honest, which probably is the best path for us, or we can and squeeze them for some more money, which would get us greedy, would lose us charitable. No, let's, let's go for honest. Let's push our diplomacy into crazy territory. 29 diplomacy is just amazing. 51 state diplomacy is just, it's like, it's actually insane levels. Uh, if we check a vassal right now, um, we should be able to see personal diplomacy plus 38 as an opinion bonus to them. So they like us by 38 more just because we um, have that diplomacy. Now if we check this one, the person with four, they only get 13 state diplomacy, okay? But we are kind of uh, pushing away other problems because we have so much diplomacy. It's just really, really good. Anyway. Uh, today, Karchin Detson brings you to the nearest construction site to evaluate progress. He notices that the builders are lying behind the agreed schedule and proceeds to question them. Um, the builders complain about the weather and want more pay to cover the delays. He looks over my ways, um, awaiting a response. Um, so we can say, we will hold our end of the deal when you hold yours. We can lose gold and become trusting. That gives us one more diplomacy, which I think is where we're going to go. Yeah, I'm going to take that diplomacy. Um, it, do, it costs us money, but that's absolutely fine. It actually probably makes us money because we now get more money from the vassals because they like us more. A friend has come to visit a, a Karchin Detson this evening. The three of you have a good time discussing your experiences over a fine evening meal. The visitor nods at you saying, How lucky you are, Detson, to have a leash that understands your work. This cooperation should benefit the both of you. So, it wasn't me. It feels like stealing. So, we could lose Gregarious and gain Shy. Not very happy. Or I can say, I hated it. We should just kill the peasants and take their money. It gets us slothful. Oh, this is awful. Wow. So, we can either lose Gregarious, which is in every way amazing. Or, we can gain slothful. So, we either take a minus five vassal opinion hit either way. So, we either lose one to all stats and lose the same trait and attraction bonus. Or we take... No, sorry. We either take minus two to diplomacy, take the minus five to attraction bonus and same trait bonus. Or, we take slothful and take minus one to everything. And Yeah, okay. I think slothful's better, as much as I hate to say it. It is ever so slightly not as bad. Uh, yeah, I want to attack into this one. Just because he just desieged it. Nice quick resieges. There we go. So we can take all of that. And let's do a battle. Uh, children need childhood focuses. 
Um, you... Oh, I didn't... Oh, focuses. Sorry, I completely missed that. I was like, where's the... what education did he have? No, he needed a focus to start with. Seems to be diplomacy. Let's go for humility, maybe. Um, then the other child... Okay, attractive's a good one. That's got a l little bit of um, opinion bonus going associated with it. Let's maybe go for an etiquette. It looks like he's almost an intrigue level, so let's try that. Right, head over this way. Uh, we do want to chase down. Is he going to surrender? We surrender under these terms. Accept. 100%. We're going to accept that. We take some threat, which is all right. We do lose the title on succession currently, unless we change the succession law. Um, that's the Kingdom of Cam, because it's currently Gavokind. Uh, I would like to change that, but we can't change it till we've ruled for 10 years. Yeah, that's unfortunate. How would we change that otherwise? We could destroy it, I suppose. Yeah, that's, that's a potential option, is destroying it. Well, think about that. Uh, betrothed can marry. Uh, we're just going to send that, and that should be a yes option. Um, okay. Threat level is reasonably high. Yeah, okay. Let's wait a second or two. The defensive packs are existing now. The marriage went through. And what's good about that is it means that our bro brother's children should be the ones in charge of this um, afterwards, which means that we will have some family members in there for a while. Uh, designated regent needs to be chosen. Designated regent's gonna be... Um, probably someone of high rank who doesn't like us. This guy, he's the guy we just took the land from, right? No, he's not. This is the guy we just took the land from. Yeah, defeated me, usurp title, all of that sort of stuff. Um, let's make this one. Well, let's make this one my designated region. I can almost send him money as well to try and uh, get some of that away. That's a little bit better. Okay. All uh, right. Where was the one that we just usurped the title from? He'll be the person who likes me the least. Well, there are actually two people who don't like me very much. This is, however, my cousin. She's quite... Oh, I thought she was in the land we just took, but she's not. Uh, it was much more interesting when I thought it was the other way around. Why does she hate me so much? Um, is this opinion not... Opinion doesn't look like it was sorting properly there. Because now everybody likes me. No matter what. No, but they don't... This isn't... This isn't in order. Alright, let's close that, re close that, go to someone else's tab, reopen it, go to vassals. Right. Now it's in order. I was thinking someone wasn't quite right there. Um, she wants the Duchy of Yarlung. Do we have the Duchy of Yarlung? Uh, we do have the Duchy of Yarlung. De jure, it includes these three bits of land, of which we hold none. You know what? Duchy of Yarlung is all yours. Have it. Go absolutely wild. Okay. So now she doesn't hate us. I was kind of wondering why she hated us. This one. Serp title. Type to claimant. Yeah, okay. So we're going to need to send him a gift. We'll just send him a little uh, gift there. Maybe an honorary title of uh, royal builder. Actually, no. You're definitely master of the elephants. Right. That's fine. So now everybody likes us. That condition is sorted. Um, we would... Oh, sorry. We would want to switch to Primogenitor, which we can do if we reign for 10 years. How old are we? We're 35. Odds are pretty good of us living for 10 years. I'm just going to put it out there. Not that bad in terms of odds. It's not great, but it's not that bad. Um, okay. Other ways that we can get rid of it is by getting rid of the title itself. We cannot destroy it because the succession type is Gavokind. Okay. Empire of Tibet. I just want to have a quick look here. So that is us controlling 62%. I said we control about 60% before we declare the war. That's actually pretty much spot on. Um, so what else do we need? We need some of these little bits of land down here and maybe some of the revolt land up there. Now, in case you've forgotten, the reason why we are doing all of this um, random like conquesting up here so we can get the empire title 
What the Empire title will do was it will... Well, if we get the Empire of Tibet, it will give us the Jure claims over everything in Tibet. And if we get, like, no matter what Empire title we get, we can get claimants who, are, who have kingdom claims, like, um, they're second or third in line to a king. I guess it'd be third or... It'd be, yeah, second or third in line to a kingdom. That would then allow us to take over kingdom titles in India, which would then allow us to conquest a lot quicker. That's generally the concept that we're going with here. Uh, let's just disband those men as well. Um, let's have a look. We can get more retinue now as well, which is nice. I think we were going for these ones, the Himal uh, Himalayan Mountaineers. Yeah. And we can get a few more of these, actually. Yeah, that's good. So that's three more of those. That's an extra 1,200 men. That puts us about, yeah, about 5,000 men as standing army, which isn't bad. It's absolutely reasonable. Uh, we can still negotiate with that other person, which we're not going to do. We can press de jure claims over in many places. Okay, that's good. Can we press multiple claims on this person? Uh, no, you can only press one de jure. Uh, okay, yeah. I always forget that one. De jure claims are, um, you can only press one of them at a time. If you have, say, multiple claims like this, you can press as many as you like at a time. I think that's how it works. Anyway. Um, it did say we can force vassalization on this person, which seems like it'd be really good. Yeah. That would work really well. They're not in a defensive pact against us. As much as I hate it, we're just going to wait until our retinue is together. Uh, my modest attempts to write poetry were never meant to be published in any way, but wherever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting or singing my poems. Fantastic, we're a poet. That gets us permanent diplomacy and the same trait opinion bonus. I'll take it. Pretty good. Um, right. Almost merged up here. We can righteously imprison this guy because he's trying to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Cam. Don't really care, though. Uh, we request that you honor your obligation as to this call to arms against the Maharaja Kali Nanchandra of the Pala Kingdom. So this is the Palace of Jagation War. So, we would be at war with Pala right now if we did this. Pala, in their war... Oh, actually, we can check this right now, can't we? In their war is just the Pala Kingdom. Okay. Let's do some positives and negatives here. Positive? We get a war with the Pala Kingdom. The Pala Kingdom, we can then absolutely destroy. They have higher troops that we can get rid of. We have retinue troops we can get rid of. They have vent spawn troops we can get rid of. All three of those are not going to recharge if we get rid of them permanently. Like the higher troops are going to cost them money, so they're just going to have to get rid of them. Retinues are going to be gone, and they're going to have to pay the money again, which they do have. They do have the money to pay for them again, but they're going to have to recharge. Event spawn troops will never come back. All of that is good. We can also deplete their domain, and that will hopefully mean that other places will be more likely to attack them because they're weaker. All of that seems fantastic. Negatives? We have to be at war with the Pala Kingdom, which means that um, potentially we're going to lose a lot of troops. It's going to kind of get us pushed down for a while. If we lose our trade post in Kathmandu, that's a huge amount of income that's going to go. Like, that is, um, that's not as much as Paro, but it's still... A very large amount of income that's going to go. I think I'm more for it than I'm against it. Also, if we don't defend, they're going to subjugate this land. And I'm going to be severely unhappy about it. So, of course, we're going to accept. Um, right. So, now we want to raise up all of our troops again. Um, these ones cannot make it, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. These ones cannot make it due to the raiders. They're a little bit too far out. Okay. Everybody who's like here can head over this way and merge up there. Uh, everybody who's here can merge down this way. Uh, you merge. We're just going to merge those troops first because that's where our retinue is. Okay. Let's get ourselves uh, together. Ideally, what we... Oh, we can we call our allies to this? No, because we were called into this war. So, same with Pala. Pala can't call their allies. Wait. Pala should have been able to call their ally here. No, because they have the same one that we have. They have the same type of tributary that we have. Okay. 
that's fine. I may have misunderstood our problem with Pala earlier, actually, because if Chala isn't uh, that type of tributary, then we would only be fighting the Pala Kingdom. So, actually, we could have done things like... Um, yeah, we could have done wars that would cripple them. Uh, we got a claim. We were fabricating a claim. <laughs> I completely forgot that we were fabricating a claim. Where are you currently? Sorry. Where are you currently? Oh. I don't really want the claim because I don't want to go into debt. Yeah, okay. Continue getting our troops merged up. Um, yeah. Ideally, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start sieging from Kathmandu down. That way, they can't get into Kathmandu to cause us problems. Uh, everybody above this point is actually now going to merge up there. We'll move our 8,000 down uh, this way. There we go. I think those are retinue, actually, which is going to be good. We can just get rid of them. Uh, we have Foot of the Holy Man. Oh, okay. Interesting. Gives them extra movement speed. I like it, actually. You're Craven? Uh, well, I'm going to have to relieve you as commander. Um, okay, so Sen? You're still good, yeah. We'll put in Sen there, and we will, I think, need to put in a new commander. Presume, like, assuming that we still have a commander spot open. Uh, we don't. Did we not just fire a commander? Maybe we lost the commander slot and had, like, at some point, then just had an extra lying around or something like that? I'm not sure. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll head down here and get rid of that, like, retinue. So we've actually killed that entirely. Um, these actually have relatively good defense. Uh, can we see fort level before we go on to it? Yeah. These all have relatively good fort level, but that's because they were all Nepal before they were, um, Pala Kingdom. Let's head down like this and see if we can find... Let's see, let's see if we can find Pala Kingdom's army. That can be good. Let's head towards their capital to try and look for their army. Down this way a little bit. Oh, that's... A, oh, wait. That's another retinue. Let's just uh, snipe it while we're here. Right. There we go. Get rid of that one. Just because it's going to cost people within the realm money to uh, replace it. Kind of what I'm looking for here. Yeah, in fact, do you see that one troop that spawned there? That was them re That was them repaying for the retinue. Uh, you were trying to fabricate a claim on the kingdom of Yu Sang. Okay, that's fine. This is actually a really quick siege, the, their capital. That seems really good. Um, my vassals are forming alliances with, it, with each other. That's fine, I think. I mean, it's alright. It's not great, but it's fine. We are taking attrition here. I'm not entirely happy. My marshal, my my marshal is trying to tell me about his uh, Hindu beliefs. Let's try and debate him out of it. Uh, I'm not happy with the amount of attrition we're taking. Actually, uh, we actually switched him over to Buddhist, which is nice. This attrition's pretty heavy, but I still want their capital before we do anything else. Uh, we lost our alliance with this guy because he was murdered. Oh. 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 Okay then. That's not good. Um. Arrange marriage. Oh, this is our half sister who's now free, newly available. Um, where are you? You are actually not that bad. In like you're you're in an all right position. I do want your land, however, so we're gonna say no. We are gonna marry off our half sister because she's still fairly young. Um. No real alliances coming from that. As far as I can see. Um, you I could get an alliance with. That's almost alright. Uh, no, I'm not entirely sure what to do. In fact, I'm going to end the episode here and we'll think about it next time. Thank you for watching. See you then. Goodbye.